So as you guys can see, and as you guys can tell by the title of the video, Chris Eubank Jr. versus Liam Smith is official. Uh, no surprise that this fight is happening. Uh, it's been talked about for the past few weeks now uh, that I put a fight between Chris Eubank and Liam Smith is uh, set to happen uh, this coming January uh, 2023, January 21, 2023 to be more exact. A uh, fight will be taking place over at the AO Arena in Manchester in the UK to be shown live on Sky Sports box office pay per view. So, um, so yeah, uh, I'm happy that it's happening. Um, I think it's a great fight. I think it's a big fight over in the UK. Uh, is it as big as the Eubank versus Conor Ben fight? Uh, maybe not. Uh, but it's still a big fight. Two fighters, very well known. Eubank, obviously the Eubank name. Liam Smith, former world champion, has been in there against the likes of Canelo. And has been looking good lately. Um, it, it makes for a very, very good entertaining fight. This, the clash of styles between these two makes for a very entertaining fight, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully a network here in the US will pick it up. Hopefully ESPN, which usually, usually is the one that picks up Sky Sports fights. Hopefully they pick it up here in the States. Um, hopefully. Who knows? Maybe DAZN might pick it up. You never know. Because it's a good, very good fight. It really is. Uh, maybe the zone and ESPN will fight over it for the U the U.S. broadcast rights. Um, but yeah, it's a very good fight with uh, Chris Eubank. Um, I think we all know who he is at this point. Uh, hasn't lost a fight since losing to George Groves back in 2018. Um, coming off a win against another Liam, Liam Williams, uh, back in February of uh, this year. So it's basically, be it would be more almost a year since he last fought. Again, he was preparing to fight Conor Ben which was supposed to take place in October, but it didn't happen. And um, we all know the reason why it didn't happen. Conor Ben tested positive for a banned substance, if you, to those who don't know. And uh, as for Liam Smith, uh, like I said earlier, he's been looking good lately. Um, the last time he arguably completely lost was against Jaime Munguia back in 2018. He lost to Magomed Kurbanov last year uh, in Russia, but... If you watch that fight, it was a very close fight. And honestly, if that fight were anywhere else, not in Russia, I think Liam Smith would have pro probably gotten the decision. But since then, since beating Kurbanov, he uh, looked good against Anthony Fowler, stop Fowler in, in eight rounds. Um, he looked good against Jesse Vargas. I was there live in person at the Garden, saw that fight myself uh, with my own naked eyes. And I was impressed of how uh, Liam Smith looked in that fight. And uh, he's coming off a, a win against Hassan Mankenyo. Uh, Mankenyo, I don't know, man. He, Mankenyo was very disappointed in that fight. But, but yeah, it's it's a it's a good fight. Um, I'm happy it's happening, and uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um, I'll say this though, it's definitely a more competitive fight than the Conor Ben fight. <laughs> I'll say that much. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know who I think will win as we get closer to the fight. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. And if you live in the USA, today is Thanksgiving. I uh, just got home, actually. So I'm, I'm a little tired. Uh, so if you live in the USA and if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I wish you a happy, happy Thanksgiving and uh, stay safe. Uh, thank you for you for watching. Thank you for you for subscribing and always commenting and you know watching the videos. Um, appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Drive safe. Don't drink and drive. Thanks for listening and watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.